This is post yes Tony K on keyboards, bass and vocals. David Foster, who had been in the Warriors with John Anderson before yes. Drummer Roy Dyke of Ashton Gardner and Dyke. Guitarist Brian Parrish of Parrish and Gervitz, which became Frampton's Camel. They signed with Atlantic as Badger in 1972. And their first LP was live, produced by John Anderson, One Live Badger, taken from a show opening for Yes. The sleeve art was by Roger Dean. Here's the songs. One, Wheel of Fortune. Don't sit there crying if the wheel lets you down. Uh, two, Fountain. Dreary noodles played out ad nauseum. Three, Wind of Change. Bibbidi bop, I'm out. <laughs> guys need Jackie Lomax. Four, River. Five, The Preacher. Six, On The Way Home. In 1974, the lineup had evolved and now included Kim Gardner on bass and guitarist Paul Pelnick and Jackie Lomax, as promised. The album was White Lady Lomax had turned the band from prog to R&B and Jeff Beck guested on the title track and you know, horns here are the songs one, A Dream of You two, Everybody Nobody three, Listen to Me four, Don't Pull the Trigger five, Just the Way It Goes six, White Lady this is the one with Jeff Beck it's a completely different sound, really. Seven, Be With You. Eight, Lord Who Give Me Life. Nine, One More Dream to Hold. And ten, The Whole Thing. Before the album's release, Badger split into two factions with Lomax and Gardner carrying on as White Lady. Badger and White Lady didn't make it to 1975. So here's Jackie Lomax coming in to make a big splash and it still didn't work out. Sometimes no matter how good a musician you are or how many ties you have in the music industry, it still doesn't fly. It just one of those things. I'm sure that there are music critics out there who like to examine the whys and wherefores of whether a band makes it or not. Or, you know, there, a lot of it's just talk after the fact of if something's happening when it comes out, then people are going to buy it. They're going to get into it if they hear about it, and they probably will music industry has changed so much in the last even 10 years I try to imagine what it's going to be like in the near future to try to promote music there are plenty of good bands out there as many as there ever was so it's really just a matter of us hearing about them and that's kind of like what I'm trying to do with my show Just all these guys they go to so much trouble to put out some music and then they get swept under the rug or blown off to a place unknown well my show is meant to bring them back into the limelight if only it, to find a few fans that might be interested in listening to some of this stuff and there's got to be some people out there that still like this stuff there just there has to be 